everybody. Lugnuts Guapo coming at you from Maverick Harley Davidson. And we are test riding the all new 2018 Lowrider. Now, you would say that does not look like a Lowrider. Well, but it is. <laughs> This is a project that we uh, we did here at Maverick Harley Davidson, and let me tell you what we did. So we took a 2018 Lowrider, brand new soft tail, and we custom made some parts to hold on this awesome Ross Wernemann Designs fairing. Painted it black, added some diamond audio, and this baby freaking screams! And it's just crisp, super crisp. Let's see if I can raise the volume. Let's see. Yeah, not that song. <laughs> that is ridiculously loud. Oh my gosh. The amp has turned almost all the way down. I'm not really sure how this is gonna sound, but it's freaking loud. I wanted love, I needed love, most of all, most of all. <laughs> Someone said you love was dead, and I found a fall. Yep, that is uh, loud, very loud. So, one of the other things that we did to this bike, besides the uh, obvious, <laughs> that's not quiet, you, you could hear that. Those are Reinhardt slip-ons. Ooh, what is this fool doing? Crazy, welcome to Dallas, everybody. <laughs> if I were to keep this thing, I would love to put it to stage one, maybe some leather pro bags or some Connellys, you know. There's so many options, but that is for up to whoever buys this baby right here to do. We did the hard part, which was the fairing, which there is no kit available for it. I know Wernemont, Russ Wernemont Designs was planning on building one. Uh, they haven't come up with one yet. And when I called them, they said they were three weeks out, maybe. That was like two months ago. So, I'm sure it's, it's you know, when you're gonna mass produce something, it just has to be designed a certain way. But uh, Trip Baker is the guy that uh, put this uh, fairing together. And the brackets that he did for this thing are freaking awesome. And, that's where uh, most, of our, uh, most of our investment as a dealership into this bike went into, is mainly the fairing. So, so quick rundown, uh, Wild One chubby bars, 12 inch T-bars, and they're so comfortable. Um, Diamond Audio, both amp, you know, two, two speakers and your uh, module up there. The uh, Ram mount does not come included with this bike. This is my Ram mount, <laughs> which are awesome, by the way. But turn signals, LED turn signals in the front. Obviously, you can't see it from here. Uh, Moon's MC headlight, fly eye, and it is, <laughs> it is incredibly bright. Um, and then, of course, the Reinhardt slip-ons. So. If you want to test ride this baby, you need to let us know. It sounds freaking amazing. It blocks the wind like you would not believe. I have a 2004 Super Light with a small three-quarter fairing, and it does the job, but this is, I mean, might as well be a touring bike. And we are going about 50 miles an hour, give or take. Let's uh, check out the, uh, the sound system on here. See, see how well it does. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Yep. Oh my gosh, I can hear that. 
that clear as day. And that's at 65 miles an hour. I don't know how well this is going to come through the mic inside my helmet, but if what I'm hearing right now is any indication, it is, it is beyond loud. And it's not even turned all the way up. I know the amp isn't for sure, and on my phone it's about three quarters. That's insane. That is insane. Diamond Audio, you put out some good products, and this is uh, proof of that. That's awesome. That is awesome. The speakers are not even boxed in, which is the craziest thing. They're just, you know, drill the holes on the fairing, which is made out of uh, fiberglass, and put those puppies in. Fair, uh, amp is going to be right underneath that module, behind the little wall on the fairing. Very well put together by Tom Talamantes, Tom OG Talamantes, which is one of our techs at Maverick, Harley Davidson, and anything related to audio, he's my go to guy. And actually, he's in front of me right now. <laughs> We're going to A&W, I know there's some reps that wanted to check out this bike, it's, I think, I think there's one like this that was made before, this one is somewhere in Kentucky if I'm not mistaken, at least that's what I've been told. Woo! And uh, so yeah, if there is such a thing, if there is another one of these, then this is only the second one in the whole United States. <laughs> and those Reinhardts, I mean, for what you for what you pay, they're freaking amazing. Has a really like deep sound to them, which is uh, interesting because when the when Milwaukee A first came out, there was a lot, not a lot of exhaust, and the few slip ones that were out there, it just made it sound really weak. <laughs> but yeah, this this sounds. That sounds really good. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, you're gonna have to see uh, what that headlight looks on this thing because it's it is absolutely incredibly bright. Uh, tinted windshield on this thing as well, and. Uh, Man, other than that, it's 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 a good old soft tool. Uh, so where did the inspiration for this bike come from? Well, it's no secret that the FXR Dyna scene has been uh, very prominent, especially in California, but it's starting to slowly make its way over here to Texas. And when Harley decided that they were gonna make only soft tools with a new monoshock frame, which by the way, it's amazing and as much as it hurts to say, because I do have a Dyna and I really like my Dyna, this bike outperforms it in every single way. And uh, it's just, it, it, it is incredible. But ever since they Harley decided to do that change, everybody freaked out. Oh, you know, poor, poor Dynas. I don't know what Harley was thinking. What were you thinking, Harley Davidson? They were thinking, this bike is better, more awesome, because that's exactly what it is. Milwaukee 8 motor, soft tail frame, monoshock frame, more importantly. And so we wanted to bring that culture. Woo! Oh boy. <laughs> Guys, it's so responsive. We wanted to bring that part of the culture into the new Harley lineup. And so, this was kind of my uh, baby, my project. And this is what uh, came out of it. So, 
I am going to show this bike off to some Diamond Audio reps. I know they were very interested in looking at this thing. So we'll see how this goes. Hope you all uh, are enjoying this video because I am going to continue the second part of this once we are on our way back. So see y'all in a bit. This is a good spot. Looks like a good spot to me. Oh, too terrible. At 70, I I could hear it. It's way louder than touring bikes. Oh yeah. Way. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> I told you. And that amp is barely. It's barely oh yeah, it's bit yeah. I I think I got like three quarters of the volume, and it was like I couldn't even hear myself speak. Right. Right. So you have it. I like it, I like it a lot. <laughs> it's a good song. I don't know if you can hear it, but I definitely can hear it. Almost to the point where I can't honestly hear the traffic around me. That's not even, that's barely over half, half of the volume. It's so, it's so, it's crisp. It's so clean. <laughs> oh man. Designs fairing, diamond audio, Reinhardt slip ons, LED turn signals, fly eye, Moon's MC headlight, and on this awesome soft toe platform with a 107. You know you want it. Maverick Harley Davidson called 972 245 1492. Schedule a test ride, make this baby yours, and get some wind therapy. <laughs> Dame, by the way. Oh, you're not even wiping the bugs off. Really? <laughs> really, Carl? Was there any bugs on it? Um, Where? There's like, look at that. There's a bug. That's not a bug. That's just dust. Well, good. Wipe the dust off, Carl. <laughs> uh, what are you around here? <laughs> Dude, I, I want this. I know. I want it so bad. I haven't rode it. I want to ride the fucking speaker sound and shit. Dude, the guys at Diamond Audio, they were impressed. Went and showed them this bike. 
and then we're like, yeah, that's that's clean. 